the storm of the Atlantic hurricane season is churning off the coast of North Carolina right now. Yesterday, Tropical Storm Bill was upgraded from a tropical depression. It has sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. The national hurricane season does not expect Bill to last long or to impact the U.S. mainland. It will, however, approach the Nova Scotia coastline tomorrow as a post-tropical storm. The Atlantic hurricane season runs through November 30th. Austin Cheney is here now, and he has a look at Bill's path. Well, Tisha, like you said yesterday, Bill did form off the North Carolina coastline. Now it's kind of racing off towards the northeast, so it's about even with New Jersey getting close to New York, so kind of high in latitude for a tropical storm, but still packing winds of 45 miles an hour. And as we look over the next few days, it's not going to pose any threat to the United States. It may get a little bit stronger. The wind sustained at 50 miles an hour later on this morning, but then weakening as it approaches the shorelines of eastern Canada uh, as we get closer towards the middle of the week. But no threat to us here in the Miami. Valley, and in fact, our weather here at home, kind of the opposite of tropical as our temperatures start to decrease and the air gets a little bit drier this morning, Kirsty. That's right, Austin. So finally, we're going to get back to what we would typically see, and to be honest, what ends up being a little cooler than normal this week. So last week, it was hot. It was very muggy. This week is the exact opposite. Our dew points have dropped. We've got some cooler air that's in store for us here over the next couple of days. I'm really not expecting it to get humid again until we head into the end of the week and start of the weekend, and that's going to be ahead of another system that actually brings some rain. So for today, mainly dry, just a very small chance for a few sprinkles uh, in the evening hours as we have another Another weak front that comes in today. Tomorrow behind that front we're going to be even cooler but we end up staying sunny and dry. So I'd say Wednesday is the best day if you need to get out work in the garden, maybe cut the grass because it'll be so comfortable out there. Live Doppler 7 radar is dry. We're going to stay that way as we head throughout most of our day today. We'll hit 58 degrees in Sydney right now. It's 58 in Xenia and 60 if you're walking out the door in Springboro. Looking at those dew point temperatures down into the 50s and the dew points drop even lower tomorrow. They're going to be in the 40s. So that is some nice refreshing air that we have over us. Even though we are dealing with low humidity, it's still hot enough to get outside and maybe enjoy a pool day today. T-shirts, water bottle, sunscreen, the typical summer gear is what you're going to need again, especially with our very high UV index that kicks in through the day. Future cast shows a nice sunny morning. You can see midday, bright sunshine, and again, that's when those uh, UV rays are coming in here more directly. As we head into the late afternoon and early evening, you see just a little bit of scattered cloud cover will develop. In those clouds, we might get a few stray sprinkles. They will move out very quickly tonight, so that means we're in for another clear night and a bright start tomorrow morning. For Wednesday, it will be sunny all day long. Enjoy a really beautiful forecast tomorrow. This afternoon, we'll be on either side of 80. Some cities south of Dayton, like Miamisburg, will be around 82. We'll hit 80 degrees in Brookville, 79 in Greenville. Our projected wind gusts, we do stay a little breezy again this afternoon. Gusts could get up to about 30 miles per hour as we head towards late day with that quick boundary that comes in. But other than that, it's really not going to be wind that would cause any major impacts. If you're going to be outside, maybe enjoying uh, the grill tonight and grilling up some burgers, we'll be around 80 degrees as we head towards 5 o'clock, 76 by 7 o'clock. Our five-day forecast shows a nice little stretch here with cool temperatures tomorrow morning, another cool start on Thursday morning as well. 520 now, 59 degrees. Kirsty, thank you. The sound of cicadas is tapering off in parts of the Miami Valley. That's my house. The timeline of cicada peak season and when they're expected to be gone.